dia, marcando presença com a família toda. Obrigado, obrigado a todos vocês. Muita alegria do povo aqui em Vitor. O povo está animado demais na Praia da Bahia. O povo está a chegar, Daniel, aqui a este Espinho Open Active Bank, até porque temos aí essa primeira manhã final. Daqui a pouco estamos praticamente a 5 minutos e 45 para então começar essa primeira meia final, uma destas duplas vai então perimbar o passaporte para a final recorde então, são 7 e 15, essa final o verdadeiro jogo deste Espinho Open Active Bank 2019 Well, hello there and welcome to the FIVB Beach Volleyball World Tour, where this week we are in Portugal, Espinho to be exact, just south of Porto. there and welcome to Portugal. My name is Louis Lett and I have the pleasure to talk you through this men's final four and the final day of competition for the beautiful shores of northwest Portugal. That there is the Atlantic Ocean. Still quite chilly at this time of year. The weather conditions, well, they've been mixed throughout the last week, but it's men's semi-final time here on the FIVB World Tour. After a busy few weeks, a World Championship at Beach Majors last week in Gestad as well. Latvia versus Brazil for a place in the final a little bit later on. It's a game full of a couple of superstars of the game. Martins Plavins serving on your screen at the moment. Bronze medalist from London 2012, double Olympian, now playing with his newest partner, Edgar's Tox. Well, the weather has been mixed all week long. A big sea breeze attacking the court from the main picture right to left. The temperatures, well, it's Portugal in the summer, fairly warm, very comfortable. The crowd making their way in, Latvian fans and Brazilians alike. And for Brazil, well, it's been a tough few months for them. Lots of partner changes, lots of mix-ups, but now they're growing again in World Volleyball, but so are Latvia. Lavins and Toks, now Latvia's premier team in the world rankings and Olympic rankings as well, overtaking the Evergreen, Anjus Amoilovs and Janis Smedins. It's time to meet the referees for this semi-final encounter. On stand, Tobias Markfeld from Germany has overall control of this encounter. William de Busher. On the sand from Belgium will be the second referee for this one. Well, for Martins Plavins, the 
this is a big occasion for him and Latvia on the whole. They're currently number eight in the Olympic rankings, scoring points, an impressive world championship just a couple of weeks ago. And now with Edgar talks, the future is looking very bright for this team heading towards Tokyo 2020. And listen to the cheer for Alison Saruti, 33 years old. One of the game's best of all time. Fifth on the all-time record for FIBB World Tour Golds. And his partner, Alvaro Filo, the left-hander, dynamic, yet to play in an Olympic Games. Probably one of the best Brazilian players not to have played in an Olympic Games. This is huge for Brazil. This is huge for Latvia in the context of Olympic Games qualification. Some of the top teams in the world haven't traveled this week to take a rest after a busy schedule. Hamburg, the World Championships, was world class. So was Gestad last week. No Beach Volley Vikings, no world champions in Krasilnikov and Stoyanovsky. Next week, the Beach Volleyball World Tour heads to Tokyo. The test events for the Olympic Games, so many teams going there, but Alisson gets the first block of this one, two in a row! The Mammoth. Playing in his 62nd World Tour Final Four. 24 gold medals. Legend. Var is serving well as well. He's been really effective. Some people say that they are reminded of Emmanuel. Alisson's former partner by Alvaro, just his overall demeanor on the court, but... Tosh gets Latvia underway as well. Alvaro, the service target from the inside, has a little look at the court, goes high line. Plavin's all over that, Tox on two. Alisson playing defense, and Alvaro on two. Whoa! This game giving us some heat early on. Smooth whip of an arm from Alvaro. Allison serving, charging in. Tops the target again. Swings to the line, finds an avenue down. Past the outside hand. For Latvia, they've only been playing together since 2018. They won that opening event together in The Hague in the Zuda Park. The first days in January of 2018. Since then, they've taken second place as well on the World Tour and a fifth five times. But for Flavins, he's found the right recipe here in Dodge, that's for sure. Having played previously with Harold Reksha for a while. And remember, post-2012, Flavin split with Janis Schmedins. They set the world alight. They really did at London. They took the bronze medal by playing this fast, flamboyant game that took the world by storm. But now it's more of a normal proceeding. That's Flavin's just staying really calm. But since that Olympic Games for Plavins, it's been slightly tougher. But now he's coming back to the forefront, looking to make his third Olympics after missing out in Rio. Toks gets one on Alisson, knuckling around is Alvaro. Chance for Plavins from the left. Plavins and Toks yesterday knocked out Bruno, Alisson's former partner. The partner that he won the Olympic gold with in 2016 and the World Championships in 2015. Now they're looking to get one over Alisson Alvaro as well. Alvaro served to the inside again, hitting from the inside area. Fires wide of the mark. It's been tough. As of late for Alisson, he hasn't made a final four in a full start for almost a year. August last year was his last four star final four. They won the three star in Kuala Lumpur earlier on in the year though, but this is not the form that's 
seen him win in the pick and gold medal and a world championship as well. Two errors in a row from Alvaro. Timeouts already for Brazil. Brazilian fans are in as are the Brazilians. That medal at the Olympic Games for Latvia, their first in 2012, has really changed the culture of the sport in their country. Now they have two teams looking for that Olympic berth. Although, the smallest and are currently sat at number 20 in the Olympic rankings, which on four would mean they would not make the games at the moment. They're back in the qualifiers, small of Smedes. For the next events, Vienna being one of those. The Beach Majors coming back soon. Flavins on a fine run of serve, serving to the middle again. This time, Alisson kicks out from that wide area. He loves to go after the ball. Wide, but waiting. Edgar's talks again. Cox is doing to Alisson what Alisson has done to so many on the World Tour for years. Once again, serving to the inside, taking away the angles of Alvaro, but that's an early swing. In-house presentation team doing a fine job out there. Alisson. Serving straight down the line, charging in. Yeah. Over the top. Talk something that so many teams now are doing to Alisson. 6-5. English talks, but once upon a time, Alisson at 6-8 was the biggest on tour. Now, very much the pass score on height. Good passing from Alisson from the outside. Colossal from Alisson Saruti. Absolutely colossal. Diving into the angle late, Tox leaving the line, Alisson takes it. Lari serving. A couple of looks at the court from Plavins, who started siding out with ease thus far. Huge angles of our absolutely stonking. I have to appreciate how he can use his vision and hit such great angles. Olympic silver in 2012 with Manuel. Olympic gold with Bruno in 2016. Alisson now on the turn. Has to do a bit of blocking, chasing in hard. Good awareness from Plavitz. Excellent awareness, Martin Flavins, who played in 2008 at Beijing with Alexander Samoylovs. In that Olympic Games, Lavia actually beat Roger Stauhauser, who went on to take the gold. Flavins has been at the top of the game for a long time, but it's just finding the right partner that works the magic, and Tox looks like he's bringing the best again out of Plavitz. The FIVB best defensive player in 2012, that man on your picture. Huge angles, Alisson Saruj, what a start to this game. We've seen already. Alisson Emmanuel, the best, sorry, the 11th best team in World Tour history. Manuel 
and Ricardo still the best. Brazil leading the charge on that. It's going to be really tough to beat those stats from those legends because nowadays the game is just so much more open. The rest of the world have called up knuckle set from Torx. Oh my days, just sucks. Allison in and then chews him out to the stick. Opens up the line for Plavitz because of the great setting from Toch. Alvaro fires wide this time on the back set. Struggling with the side out here, Brazil. Plavin serving. Not so aggressive, but at the same time, tactically aware, very smart. Straight down the middle again to Alvaro, making him hit from the centre as often as possible. Another dig, chance for Plavins from the outside. Roll reversal. Alvaro just trots one in. Monster block from the defender out here. It's a scary, scary game as we go to the technical timeout. Technical timeout, that 2012 Olympic Games end up going the way of Julius Brink and Jonas Rackerman, but we have two of the podium in this game right here. Alisson taking the silver medal in dramatic fashion. Dramatic final point at Horse Guards Parade in 2012. Close calls from the referee at the end, giving the game to Rick Reckerman. Lavin Smedins taking the bronze in front of the Netherlands. Alisson serving, chasing in to try and make a block on top. She shoots line. Alvaro, full stretch. How about that one? And then he has the calmness. It is Emmanuel in disguise at times. Just reading the game, sees it, the extension of the elbow, the slowness of the arm. Alvaro all over it. Alisson breaks and he's caught going backwards. But for Alvaro, FIVB most improved 2013, FIVB sports person 2017, and top rookie 2013 as well. Can't get to that one. Chance for him to set though. Alisson chips line, seen from Plavins. Chance in transition, a little look at the court and then away to the sideline. But it goes wide of the mark. It's the first time these two have played against each other. For Alisson Alvaro, it's just their tenth competition together. It's the first time they're past a fifth at a competition of a four-star or over. Plavins, though, just hitting great angles at smooth speeds. It's nothing too dramatic from him, but it's just consistent. Tight passing from Allison. He's trying to take more of that central role. Sitting in the seam is Plavins. He's reading everything back there. Breaking the block again is Allison, almost playing double defense, Brazil! But they're scoring, that's all that matters. Lavin and Toch taking that ninth at the World Championships in Hamburg. Such a great advert for the game two weeks ago in Germany. Monster block, Alison Saruti. How many times in 14 seasons 
Have we seen one of those? The encounters through the years, Alisson and Manuel, Rogers, Dalhauser, games like that that used to really pack out Final Fours. Legends, absolute legends of the game. Alisson coming back to the forefront. For Espinha. It's the third year in a row they've run this competition. Last year, Latvia won it. Shmoilovs and Schmedins, but they had to settle for a fifth this time around. Latvia looking to win it two years in a row with two different pairings. That would be something. It really would. It's a week off, though, for the Beach Volley Vikings. <laughs> and his mole, Christian Solom. Not here, Brower Musen, who took the silver medal last week. But it's not about Brower Musen this week, it's about Alisson. Two blocks in a row. Brings Brazil back into this one. First time he goes super early. Second time blocking, he's really late watching everything. Sweeping up the line. Alisson at full stretch. What are we watching here? Alvaro already having made one block. Gets back in, now has to break. Sweeping on the angle. Alisson, the blocker, playing great defense, but touches in town. Unbelievable. Both teams, 120%. But the swap from Dodge, insane. Game on. Alice on the target. Pepper down the line. Dummy Tubal trying to suck Tox in, but Alisson fires really wide. Mark he ends up on his backside. Looking back at Mishbino over the years, some people might not know, but they started holding events here in 95. Roberto Lopez, Franco Neto from Brazil, taking the title that year, but looking through, he has all the best have been here. Jose Loyola and Manuel. Loyola now coaching on the World Tour. It's another era. Doors open. Really is for Brazil here. Manuel Ricardo having won it two years in a row, 2003, 2004. Then there was a break for 10 years. Manuel Ricardo took the title in 2007. But Victor Felipe and George Wanderley, who's in the next semi final for Brazil, took it in 2017. Gradually getting back to a prestigious event here on the World Tour, but talking of prestige, Alisson has won just about everything. Two in a row, he ducks out the way, he doesn't fancy that one, Alisson. Doesn't want any part of that. Glavin still wanting more from Edgar Tox. He's a demanding man, Martin Glavin. Very tight, coming on two, you can see it from a mile away. Tox is beating. This is really heating up now because it's slow and steady from Brazil, but they're right in the mix. They really are. Alisson serve, getting into block. Alvaro just sits really late, reading the body of the opposition hitter. But Plavins, what a bit of defense that is. Tox has to set it off the net. Plavins might be upset with the setting of Toxic. He just walks around. Alisson goes to get his sunglasses clean. Latvia look like they're drifting away from one another here. Plavins happy with his defensive work. The ball just drifting off. 
Tox. Frustration for Plavins, but joy for Brazil. Change of ends. Back to one. Alisson again, just popping the ball straight down the line. Tox to target. Chance for the Mammoth to get in. Alvaro is there. It's another chase for Alisson. Two in this set. Perfect setting almost. What a play from Brazil. Suffer that, Lavia. Alvaro and Alisson are back in town. Two chases in this set from Alisson. He puts it on a plate for Alvaro. And all Alvaro has to do is feast on it. And now there's a block from the Mammoth, the legend. And for the first time in a long time, Brazil take the lead at the business end of the set as well. Wow. Alisson giving in every aspect of the game right here. Chicken win. Now what are we watching? Another unbelievable transition set from Alisson. Double defending. And finally, Tox finds an answer. This game heating up. It's exactly where we want it at the time we want it the most. The expectations of Alisson there. Incredible. Just banging the sand, wanting to make that defensive play. Just waiting for Alisson. Looks like he might have hurt himself. Lavin serving, FIBB World Tour best defensive player in 2012. Made some great defenses already today, but they've had a big lead in this one. They've squandered it side out from Allison. Doing the Allison trademark trick, just that ball that sits up to the outside. He hits it from the same point every time. Angle or shoot line. First set points for Brazil. It's another outrageous bit of defense. Alvaro. Incredible transition as well. Brazil training the whole way through the opening set. Have just performed the smash and grab. Addison goes to the fans. There's a feeling of nostalgia here in Espino. Alvaro, three or four times. It's almost a chicken wing as well, but the transition will work from Alisson on point. The adrenaline pumping in Espino. What a game. What else do you want on your Sunday morning? One of the all-time greats of this sport coming right back to the forefront of where he belongs. And for Latvia, after a fantastic start, insecurities well and truly crept in, serving straight down the middle to Alvaro, a tactic that worked early on for this team, trying to take the angles away from him. That's exactly what happens, parking on the angle, Plavins. That one goes really astray. That's really unlike Martin's Plavins. Well, that'd be a team who have beaten Evandro and Bruno this week, both world champions in their own right at different times, but it shows the capabilities of this team against a Bruno Evandro that is sometimes inconsistent, but that's tight. And that goes straight to Smuggle Tal through the hands of Tox. He's 
been smart today, Alvaro. There's a certain maturity about his game. Latvia also coming through Adrian Gavira, Pablo Herrera, Victor Felipe, Pedro Solberg. So they've beaten two Brazilian teams already. Just reacting is Alisson. Back out wide, great footwork in his approach. But now there's a chance of a free net. Surely Tox has to put this away. No. Overhand defense. What even is this from Brazil? They're cooking on gas. But finally, the point goes to Latvia. Well, for Brazil, they've beaten Daniela Lupo, Paolo Nicolai in the previous round. Who final four last week in Kishtad. Tox serving, running in, Alice on the target. Staying high, it's good eyes from Tox. Alvaro, really good from Tox again. Third opportunity for Brazil, finding a way past. There's a net touch, third time of asking, but for Edgar Tox, he really did put in the work earlier on in the rally. Alisson on the floor again. FIVB World Tour Best Docker 2011-2015, Best Hitter 2011-12 and 16 as well, but that's an absolute rip from Latvia. It's not like Alvaro hasn't won medals in Under-21 World Championship for Victor Felipe in Blackpool 2009 2010. Interesting time to be Brazilian on the world tour, that's for sure. It's not all their own way like it once was. Wide setting, that's exactly where Alisson wants the ball, so he can access sharp angles and line over. Bump into the centre, Alvaro, who has just transitioned really well all day. Anything in defence, but the transition setting from Alisson, really strong again. Clavins. The eyesight, the vision of the court on his approach from Martins. Clavins delights the crowd. He won the gold at the first European Games with Rexha in 2015 in Baku. Clavins. Also a junior world champion with Alex Samoylos, but Alvaro on two, doing the damage. And are we watching maybe Alvaro and Alisson make a charge in world volleyball again? Always a team to be feared. Breaking. On plan. Alisson. For somebody as big as Alisson, two meters, three centimeters, moving backwards isn't always that easy. High line, chase again from Alvaro. How many high lines has Alvaro chased down in this game? He's got another one. Can he transition? He's made so many transition plays. Yes, he can. Off the board. Brazil are just flying here in Portugal. Alvaro looking for win number five today. The winner of this game will play the winner of Brazil, on the Brazilian team. Andre and George, who have impressed so many this year already on to better from Torcha Flat. Time is running out for them. And the other Brazilian side will play against Chile. And the Grimalt cousins, Marco and Esteban, who came through for battling Sam Pedalo and Sam Schachter on the outside courts late last night.
on to Alvaro. Just stomps another one. Comes in facing Angle, rips it to the line. It's another indicator of where this game is going. Once upon a time, it would be Alisson hitting on two. Now, it's Alvaro. Deep on Plavins again. Watching closely, Alisson chipping back. It's another dig for Alvaro. This is almost getting too good out there from Brazil. On two, Plavin sees the opportunity to play quick, play to the corners and score. Good passing twice in a row. Alvaro with the two ball. The angle that Alisson creates off his arms. Again, puts it in a prime location. Tox is nowhere. He's not expecting it from Alvaro. Brazil and their fans, joyous. This time on two, Tox fires wide. Lavins turns his back. Five points game. Alisson is returning to the big time here in Espino by the looks of it. Oh, that one's come flying, but it's touched the block on the way through. Really having the lead in the opening set and losing control for Latvia has knocked the wind out of their sails. A Brazilian side whose side out play was not up to scratch earlier on in this game has now find, found full momentum. No two ball this time. Plavins from the right side. Goes on the touch. Finds the net. There's a feeling from the Brazilians that they're getting close. Remember, no final four in a four star for a year for Alisson Saruti. Alvaro, sharp. What a bit of defense that is from Plavin. Sitting on the sharp one, making the dig, swatting around his talks. It has to come over now through Alisson. The crowd absolutely loving this. That four start one year ago was in Moscow with Andre. Andre in this semi-final as well. Andre also former world champion with Evandro. Evandro now playing with Bruno. But it's a team game. And Alvaro has just taken the ball by the horns here. He really has. Alvaro, who played with Samon for some time. They took a third in Kishtar, the five-star, back in 2017. There is Alvaro getting beaten. But actually, since then, it's been tough. Playing back with Ricardo. Alvaro took a fifth in Vegas. 2018, the first in Kuala Lumpur was a great result, but that was a three star. The main event now for World Volleyball, the four and five stars. Technical timeout has come around 13 8. Alvaro played with Victor Felipe, Ricardo, Pedro. This merry-go-round of Brazilian beach volleyball players 
But this is a huge opportunity for Alvaro to stake a claim for his first Olympic Games. With Alison Saruti, it's Alison that's served back after the technical. That's another rip. What does Plavins do then? Does he step up a little bit more and try and get it under his grill? You'd risk getting hurt though, wouldn't you? Currently, the top seeded team when it comes to Olympic rankings. Mandro, Bruno at four. Alvaro, another dig on the high line. Every time, Plavins wants to go high line. Alvaro just sees it, goes so early, tracks the ball well. But the transitional work from Brazil, the ball control in Brazilian style, unreal. Passing slightly off the net, Plavins from the right side, now chipping nice on the cut shot. shot. Smart. Vandre Bruno, currently fifth in the Olympic rankings, but because Brazil have lost all he won the World Championship, they go through the Olympics automatically, so that shifts them up to number four. That'd be at number seven at the moment, but... Bola pra fora do at 10, so all these teams Ele currently going to the Olympic Games, but only two fecha. teams per nation can go to the Olympics. Um Momento que é suscitado o timeout. Andre and George not far behind. It's important that both of these teams are here playing, and they're both in the final four, so not much will change between them. Timeouts all the same. As Alvaro from the center again just whips one wide. How good have Brazil been, though? That slow start doesn't matter anymore. The only way is up for Alvaro and Alisson here. Set to the inside, no two ball from Alisson. They're trying to get him through the middle every time, but this time Alvaro, so smooth in his arm, super quick. Ripping the seat. Latvia screaming from the crowd. Not the most aggressive approach from Plavins, who's still just barking orders at Edgar's Tox. Plavins needs to focus on making some aces here, or at least some defensive plays. Alice on the target now, everything on the inside. He works back off the body. Ball goes back. Knuckling through, Clavins. Five will do it for Brazil. 800 world ranking points up for grabs. And the check, 20,000 US dollars, but the Olympic ranking points so crucial nowadays. Working back on the cut, shot, sloppy touch. Alisson bullying Latvia here. Latvia really capitulating themselves at times as well. The Mammoth is back in business. Another high line, this time Plavins has to show a bit more angle with the upper body to then work away from the body itself. Just sell the cross court hit a little bit longer. Just there, before nudging it back to the line. Big comeback needed from the Latvians. Alvaro again from the center, it's very tight. Tok should be on this, but he's out jousted for a moment. 
That's one back. Top serving. Chasing in hard as well. Alisson from the outside. One of the biggest angles of the game so far. And that's an indication that Alisson is back in business again here. Bosch, sharp as you like. Error from Plavins. Alisson serving. Two more for Brazil to get their way into their first final four for a long time for both players. There you have it. Match point is up. Just chipping the line, Alvaro. Quick look, Alisson looks to be in some distress here, but he's got himself up, dusted up to serve for the match. Plavitz needs to side this one out desperately, almost, but Alisson again, for someone so big, his reaction's incredible, there's a net touch against the man. Great work from Plavins to go off the outside hand. Spectacular stuff from Alisson. Second match point for Brazil. Alvaro pulled to the inside as he has been done to him all day. It's off the outside hand and there's a feeling of nostalgia once again as Alisson Saruti returns to a final of an FIVB four-star event. The last one for him a year ago in Moscow. But this new partnership with Alvaro looks like a good one. Plavins is still kicking off here. Still not happy. He has to settle for a place in the bronze medal game, but they have been fairly beaten by Brazil. And for Alvaro, whose best result last year was a fifth in Vegas, they're going to the gold medal game to either play Chile or George and Andre from Brazil as well. What a game. And it's the return of the mammoth here in Espinho. The fifth leading gold medalist in world tour history. Part of the 11th best ever team with Emmanuel Riga. And one of the best still to be playing the game at this moment in time. A legend, Alisson back to the glory days. Well, replay of the final point. Alvaro, who has served inside all, the, all day long, goes back to the angle of the outside hand of Plavins, who's not been a happy bunny throughout the second set. The first set, they had to come back from a deficit. But the second was all about Brazil. fans all over the world for Brazilian beach volleyball. Brazilian beach volleyball does not get any bigger or more humble than that man right there. Well, the fans are awaiting the second semi-final between Chile and Brazil to see who will make up the gold medal and bronze medal matches coming our way later on as we go down court side to yeah, hear from our winners. Play in these conditions, like the weather today is really, really nice, but it's really hot also to play. The sand here in Spion is so nice, it's really deep. Uh, we like to play. This is real beach volleyball. Uh, the guys from Latvia, they're an amazing team. Yesterday they played like us three games, so uh, congratulations to them. And uh, for my for my partner, was a true warrior during the whole season. He's a legend, and uh, I'm so happy to play with him. Also, congratulations to our team, and we still have one more game. Let's let's do it. Thank you, everybody here. Obrigado, Espinho, pessoal. What more difficult for you? Yeah, today very hot. 
first set inside out not good but uh, step by step and we did it we did it yeah my friend it's good however is perfect the phase and second ball is good and first game is perfect expectations for the final oh it's always a hard match like the chile the, the team from chile is really really good team the they they won two tournaments in this in this season also the team from brazil george andre it's an amazing team we played against them in the pool and they they won us so yeah that's it we want to play uh, the final and uh, it's two two strong teams it would be special uh, to find george and andre in the final. yes brazil brazil is very strong but uh, it's final the final chile brazil where to go no problem okay, thank you congratulations happy and it's very very humble the brazilians they don't mind who they play they know it's going to be tough there's a lot of respect there one of the world's best teams alisson alvaro they're getting back to the top of their form for alisson it's a special day after a very tough year in the game some highlights of a special game for brazil and maybe one of frustration from Latvia. Plavins and Tox are going really well though, and their eyes will be on Tokyo 2020 as well as winning medals. First semi-final has come to a conclusion. And there are the statistics to back it up. More attacks from Latvia, more blocks as well, but much more errors, and that's going to be really costly for them. Look at the amount of digs from Alvaro, sweeping up the court, the high line, the cut shots, and also the harder attacks as well. And in transition, he was really effective with Alisson's great setting. Well, that's the first semi-final over and done with. The second one will be between Brazil and Chile coming our way very, very soon here from Espinho. So much action to look forward to. But from us, for the time being, it's goodbye from the FIVB Beach Volleyball World Tour and we will see you again very, very soon. Séniores masculinos do Espinho Open para ver a partir das 12 horas. Esse Gil Brasil, Gil com Marco Grimaldi e Esteban Grimaldi frente à dupla do Brasil. André Stein e Jorge Vanderlei para ver a partir das 12 horas. Estamos mais ou menos com 13 minutos e 5. segundos para o início do próximo jogo. Ô Vitor, depois desse jogo daremos um intervalo, não é isso? E voltamos com as finais. Vamos voltar com o jogo do momento de e quarto, só às 16. Ou seja, hoje só temos quatro jogos. A informação é exatamente essa. Primeira meia-final já decorreu às 11. Agora às 12, essa segunda meia-final entre o Chile e o Brasil. E depois então às 16 temos esse jogo do momento do terceiro e quarto final. 17 e 15, tudo para ver, claro, aqui neste quarto central do Espinho Open, Active Bank 2019. Sabe o que é que nós vamos almoçar hoje, Hoje, pela primeira vez, é isso mesmo, Daniel. Vamos juntos, Portugal, daqui a pouquinho, Brasil e Chile, Marco e Estevão Grimaldi, que são treinados por essa lenda aqui do vôlei de praia brasileiro. Uma salva de palmas para o Paulão, brasileiro Paulão. Ele que é ao lado do Paulo Emílio, lá em 92, venceu o torneio de exibição do vôlei de praia. E claro, eu tenho que dar também uma salva de palmas para esse treinador.
jogador também multicampeão lá do CT Cangaço, em João Pessoa, Paraíba. Uma salva de palmas para Ernesto Bocado, o treinador do Brasil. Uma etapa, quatro estrelas do circuito mundial em Doha, no Catar. Então tá aí a dupla chilena, é uma dupla muito forte. Tem um pouquinho do Brasil ali no sangue com o nosso treinador Paulão. E do outro lado, Jorge André, que vem fazendo também uma temporada brilhante. Jorge é um atleta aí com 21 anos de idade. E o André, com 24 anos, foi campeão mundial na época, jogando com o Evandro em 2017. Ganhou o time da Áustria. Na Áustria, na final, eram 11 mil pessoas secando o André. E o André, ao lado de Evandro, garantiu o título mundial numa partida espetacular. Portanto, um, mais um jogaço para quem ama vôlei de praia e está acompanhando essa linda etapa nesse céu maravilhoso na Praia da Alegria, na Praia da Bahia. Ora então, Daniel, e qual é o prognóstico para ti no próximo jogo? Pai, meu prognóstico é o coração, né? O coração vai ali um pouquinho mais pro Brasil. Claro, sempre com muito respeito aos adversários, à torcida, chamando a torcida dos dois times. Mas no Brasil, Brasil na final, eu não ia ficar triste, não. Ok, vamos lá então. Estamos a 8 minutos e 35 segundos dessa segunda meia final. Espinho, lembrando aí que são 13 anos, são 13 anos de etapa aqui em Espinho, 13 anos. Hello there and welcome to the FIVB Beach Volleyball World Tour where it's time for the semi-finals of the men's event here from Portugal, Espinho to be exact. What a venue for beach volleyball on the northwest coast of Portugal. 20 kilometers south of Porto plays host to this four-star event, which has been won by legends of the game. Mike Dodd, Mike Whitmarsh, Emmanuel Ricardo, to name a few. Well, the crowd are coming in, and my name is Louis Lett, and I have the pleasure to talk you through this game between Chile, two cousins, who have set the world alight at World Tour events this season so far against a Brazilian team who really are progressing against all the odds in the difficult Brazilian squad of Andre and George. Brazil always make their way to beach volleyballing events. And they already have one team in the final here today. Alvaro Filo and Alisson Ceruti. Alisson back to the top of the charts in beach volleyball terms by making his first four-star final in a year. Well, the weather conditions topsy-turvy here in Espino over the last week, but the sun is out, it's shining, and there is a slight breeze, sometimes a heavy breeze, coming from right to left of your main picture, making the ball deviate at times and making a clear good and bad end for the players, but for Espino, which is a famous fishing village that's turning into a tourist attraction here in Portugal. The first event was in 1995, won by Brazil, Roberto Lopez and Franco Neto. On that day, Brazil are looking to win this competition for the first time since 2017. And it was George Wanderley that won that day. He goes again, right here, right now, in Espino. For Chile, what a season, two wins, Sydney and Doha, the three-star in Sydney was all about them and then they backed it up by beating Nick Lucena and Phil Dalhauser in the final in Doha all the way back in February time. It's time to meet the referees for this one, as always, announced first. 
Well, Vincent Roche, the first referee from France. And from Norway, on the sand, Agenson Skola from Norway. It's been a great year again for Norway in beach volleyball in terms, but to meet the players now, big occasions for both Grimald Cousins and leading the way, number one, Marco Grimald from Santiago, six for five, nine seasons on the World Tour, partnered by his cousin, Esteban Grimald, again from Santiago, no surprises there, six, three, nine seasons, 68 tournaments for the Chileans, three wins on the World Tour. They're up against it today, though, a team with great ball control, as we welcome George, a former winner, of this event, George Wanderley, 22 years old, six foot four, the defender playing with the blocker. Andre, a former world champion in 2017 in Vienna with Evandro, now playing with George Wanderley, who won this event in 2017. Brazil have a deep squad of elite beach volleyballing athletes. Chile, well, this is their sole team on the world tour looking for Olympic qualification. The Olympic qualification ends on June the 14th. 2020, the top 15 teams qualify through to the Games in Tokyo, which is where the World Tour is off to next week, the Olympic Test event in Tokyo. Some teams missing out on the Espino party after the World Championships in Hamburg two weeks ago, which was won epically by Russia. Krasilnikov Stoyanovsky, incredible over that entire week. Pass the block, Brazil off to a good start through Andre. And then Gestad last week, Brown Newsom back on the podium, losing out to the Beach Volley Vikings. Staying high, Andre. There's a clear height advantage at the net. Andre will probably try and go over the top of the block as often as possible. Marco Grimald just chipping over the block himself. Now for Andre and George, they have made a podium this year in Jingjiang, all the way out in China, battling through from the 12th seed. The fifth in the World Championships was a good result for Brazil as they look to just try and be in the top two teams from Brazil. Only two teams per nation can qualify for the Olympic Games. George, dynamic, athletic, strong, fast with the up. I think for Brazil, that currently the top team Olympic rankings wise is Evandro Bruno, both former world champions. Bruno, Olympic gold medalist with Alisson. They're currently top of the chart. So this team fighting with Alisson Alvaro for that second place at the moment. And it's currently Alisson Alvaro that leads that race. They'll be looking to try and make the final today because they'll try and topple their rivals to try and get above them in terms of the Olympic rankings. Chile, off to a good start here as well, finding some consistency. And for the Grimolts, they're currently 12th in the Olympic ranking. So at this moment in time, they will be heading to the Olympic Games as they did in 2016. What a dig that is! Up to the stars, he has to play it, the wind's blowing it in. Oh my word! And again, George, opportunity, transitioning. And another one off the net, Bam, what even is this? Finally put away from Brazil. Yes, rub your eyes. Astonishing work from Chile and Brazil. The one had the dig. Just stick an arm out, let the breeze catch it, and boom. Some rally. Good patience off the net, Bam, with the passing platform. Excellent from Andre. Well, Brazil have just lit a match here. Two stompers in a row. George serving. Good cover from Marco Grimault. Width on the plays again, and that's just trying to test the blocker with his footwork, moving from right to left and finding securities, but Andre 
on the fade away to the fourth floor, manages to find an angle. The Grimolts are the only team to qualify for the World Championships out of South America, apart from the Brazilian teams. They've been playing since 2011. More than 60 events now with five medals, three golds, and that's all within the last year as well. So they're flourishing as of late. Around the tour for a long time. They took a 19th at the Olympics in Rio in 2016. And due to their form at the moment, you wouldn't be surprised if they go and get a better result in Tokyo should they qualify. For Andre siding out, he became the youngest player to ever win the World Championships in 2017. <laughs> when he paired with Evandro in Vienna. <laughs> being served. Partner George on the right-hand side of the screen. Under-19, under-21 world champion. some pedigree in this team, but you'd still think that when Brazil had this big mix-up of pairings, some people didn't expect this charge from Andre and George. Like everyone looking at Bruno, Evandro, Addison, Alvaro maybe, Pedro, Victor, Felipe. Four strong teams still competing for Brazil, but it's not the domination it once was. Teams like Chile are coming through here, width on the play, making Andre move, making it difficult for him to really establish a line on the block, and he leaves the line just free, squeezing it, Marco Grimmel. Grimmel running into block off the net. George is slightly tight. The breeze is just at the back of Brazil here, so that's why you're seeing the ball drift onto the net. It makes it very difficult for the team at that end. It's the so-called bad end, and it's the end where the ball will get away from The player, that's a good serve towards Esteban Grimmel from the left side, works to the line, that's audaciously off the shoulder. Andre back to the line, this game is going to be full of rallies. Two teams that just love controlling the ball, whizzing it around, making it look so easy and comfortable. Beach volleyball is not an easy game. I'm a serve. Chance from the inside. Off the body. Andre just charges in with his upper body facing straight. Somehow sells that to the blocker. And working off the body with the wrist is really good work from him. No defending that bad boy. Grimmelts have only ever played together on the world tour. They don't know life without each other on a beach volleyball court, which has to work for you in some ways, but against you in others. It's working for them this year, that's for sure. Off the outside hand, just chipped off. Winner of this game goes on to play Alisson, where there's a certain feeling of nostalgia around here as Alisson is back in a four-star final. What do they do here? Serving Andre to the inside, and he still can really whip that angle back to the cross court. Mightily impressive from Brazil here. Rallies over very quickly. Quick feet to the ball, really good up. Andre, part of that FIBB Team of the Year in 2017 with Andre, FIBB World Tour Champion when it comes to scoring points on that World Tour that year as well. Also won on the FIBB World Tour in Fortaleza with Oscar. Round out. It's just the ace though. Chili with the fast one to the outside up. Struggling to keep his shoulders behind that one. Andre. Esteban 
your only target again. Staying away from George, three in a row. He's just hammered angle, but Esteban Grimalt stays really patient. He was impressive in that win in the quarterfinal against Canada last night on the outside courts on the turn. Marco Grimalt shut down. Good eyes from Andre, and then chipping away. There's a little bit of magic from Marco Grimalt. Sees everything. First of all, goes late, gets the touch on the block. Good blocking as well from Andre, but just hit. Sees the break. Cut shot is well and truly open. Chance taken. having to run the back set to change the picture and it works. Back set, high line, move the blocker, move the defender, shoot into the space. Smart. Tied at 10, it. Andre serving. Took the world by storm when two blockers from Brazil. There's a block from one of the blockers from Brazil that won the World Championship in Vienna 2017. They took the world by storm that year. Andre, back in business. So no, Christian Solem and Andy Mole, who won last week in Gestalt, took a bronze at the World Championship in Hamburg, but won three World Tour events in three different continents in three different weeks earlier on in the season. Brazil, China and Ostrava, South America, Asia and Europe. The rest week for them, very much the form side, and I've spoken to some players, Paolo Nicolai, Olympic silver medalist, still stating this week that feels that the Norwegians are just on a different level at the moment in the way that they're playing the game, block defense, and their side out play as well. Krzysztof the world champions from Hamburg, they've rested as well this week. We'll have to see if they turn up in Tokyo an event in Tokyo that so many federations are using as practice for the Olympic Games next year, so it's not being taken lightly whatsoever, this Tokyo test event, so we'll have to keep an eye out on that. In the FIVB Beach Volleyball World Tour next week, back to the line, chasing down is George Wonderly, but another trickle, fast. Line shot over the top of the block. You can see what the Chileans are doing at times, moving the ball around, testing the block. Bruno Evandro playing this week, but only taking the fifth, losing out to Latvia yesterday in the quarterfinals. It's been a tough season at times for Bruno Evandro. Did not get the world championship for the second time each that they would have won tickets out really early. World Championship that saw a great result for Toller and Wickler from Germany. They also went out fairly early this week as well. Gives a chance for these ball control teams to light fire in the wind. Exactly what's happening is another one to the line. Teams with great ball control. Being really successful here this week. All work to the line. It's obvious what they're doing. Everything going through or past or over the block of Andre. Brazil, they've had two teams in the final four. The men's and women's events this year. Sorry, this week on the World Tour, it's been a very good week for Brazil. But again, some teams not here on the women's side of things as well. Great dig from George. Chance to transition. Cut shot, followed by a cut shot. George Wanderley chopping away, looking for a place in the finals here in Espino. 
Nesta altura então, 15 de hoje, estamos em time-out, suscitado pela dupla do Chile. Marco Grimaldi, Seven Grimaldi. Que pena, o Brazilian final hit. Está com vantagem, The last time that happened was 2007. Manuel Ricardo, legends, up against Kuna and Neto from Brazil, Pedro Kuna. They also took bronze that year, Marcio and Fabio Brazil, so they're used to being all around the podium here in Espinho. The winner of this game will play Alisson Alvaro as we have a look at some highlights of some big moments, but you feel that this one hasn't really got going so far. There's still much more action coming our way on the FIVB Beach Volleyball World Tour. Chase is on for Andre, off the foot, foot sole coming out here. We saw Alisson earlier on charging after the transition sets. Take nothing away, that's an absolute blast from Esteban Grimmel, wrist away from the body. The Grimmelts have a career stat of 140 wins to 130 losses, 51 percent win rate, that's off the hands already. Well, Andre and George have a career stat of 29 wins and 14 losses, 67 percent. You can see how much more the Grimmelts have played with each other on the World Tour. Short and Esteban Grimmel. Has to get out to come back in. It's a good read for Jordan Lindley. Pass. Five will do it for Brazil here. Wider plays from Chile back to the line. George makes another dig in this rally, but Andre making touches in the block and then turning. Shooting high and scoring. Brazil firing on all cylinders here. Andre high over the block again. We're seeing it all the time. Spin serve into the breeze from George. That's a good tactic. As is that from Andre? Goes high line last time, but chilly. Well, Brazil are aware that the ball is going to go wide. There's no two-ball threat, so releasing early, covering the line is Andre. He knows exactly what's coming. Chile are trying to beat him for speed to the stick, and he gets the block. The spin serve, dipping into the headwind here in Portugal. Not dipping enough that time, though. Deliberate tactics in this breeze to try and make the ball dip in front of the pass and platform. We'll dip behind the service line. Teams from this far end here trying to serve deep and make it difficult for teams to attack from long distances on the net. is another error. Mistake from George Wanderley. Jawa, Pessoa. Andre took a 25th last time out with Alison Saruti now. They've split up and now they could be meeting in the final this year. Good from Esteban Grimmel. Chance to transition. Huge point. Marco Grimmel at full stretch. But Brazil are just a cut above at the moment. Straight approach to make sure the ball's inside the hitting window. Esteban Grimmel does well to get underneath that one and pluck it. But again, jumping back into the line, Andre doing bits of business for Brazil when it matters the most.
Andre serving, 24 years old. You compare that to Alisson, 33 now. George, Andre's partner, 22 years old. So the youth of Brazil, very much so. Wider play again from the Grimalds. It's exactly the same tactic. Running it to the pin, chipping over the top of the block. Alvaro Filo, 28 years old, so more experienced side of Brazil already in the final. Will it be a day where Alisson gets back to the top of the podium in the four-star event? But that's a super spike. George won, not the biggest, but boy, oh boy, can he jump. Can he bang a ball as well? Out of system again. Set point for Brazil. First one after a really impressive performance, but just as impressive as that off the net swing. No blocker. Driving deep middle. That's where the space is. Chile still alive. Just. Stand up. Now everybody clap your hands. Well out of system hit. Opportunity for Chile to strike and get free ball. This really should be it. They need to take this, Brazil. They don't want Chile getting back too close. Just wrist away from the body. Smooth, accurate to the sideline. That tells us the entire story of this set. Brazil have been too good on the ball. Such good control in these conditions. They take the opening set of this second men's semi-final. The winner will play Brazil, Alisson Saruti, Alvaro Filo coming up a little bit later on. Chile, well, impressive yesterday, but they have it all to do here today to get themselves in the final again, their third final four for Chile this season. Well, confirmation of the opening set. George and Andre from Brazil. Take the first one against the battling Chilean cousins of the Grimalds. That block, one of the highlights of the set for Brazil, jumping back into the line, the purposeful play of running the ball wide and trying to work off the blocker's hands from Chile. The second set about to get underway. Potent jump serve of Andre. Sorry, George, just missing out. Team that have come through as Mabutia, Ruben Penninger in three sets on the opening day of competition. The young Dutch side playing really well this week. Having beaten Alisson and Alvaro earlier on in this competition as well. They're undefeated so far. Also a win against the Trump Australians for Andre George. Schubert, a win against Semenov and Leszikov yesterday. Sealed their place in the final four. But for the Grimmels, on the outside courts last night, beating Pedalo Schachter in two. Also, Reed Pretty and Theo Bruno, who are getting better as a pair in the States. Pair, Reed Pretty, indoor legend of the game. Beating Italy, lost to Russia early on, that seminal Vleshkov pairing. The two wins against Pedro Shakta, one in the pool as well for the Grimots. Now Chile have a three-point lead at the beginning of this second set. In system though, George won, right side. Goes long. This is not the start that Brazil would have wanted. After winning the opening set pretty comfortably, the Grimalds just don't know when to back down. A miss serve, a couple of errors. And all of a sudden, this game is really going against you. 
tight setting again over the hands. Another deliberate play, trying to go over the smaller Marco Grimmel. George Wandley, left side this time. Two looks at the court. Breaking this time, Marco Grimold. Andre again, taking the line away from Chile. Monster block from Andre. Maybe that's a turning of the tide again. Goes over the hands, first time of asking. No getting past Andre. Staying very wide on the line, blocking that off the body swing. Width from Chile. Tomahawk defense from George Wandley. Another opportunity from the center. Well watched from Brazil again. This really should be back to two points here, but no! Eye for an eye from the Grimolds. Two monster blocks in quick succession. On two this time, change of ends. I'm really looking at the schedule coming up. Vienna, Beach Mage is a couple of weeks' time. One of the biggest events on the beach volleyball in calendar. And the World Tour Finals from Rome as well. At the beginning of September, there's still so much volleyball left to play on the world tour at the moment. George, another miss serve. Sloppy from Brazil. It's going to cost them dearly in this second set at the moment. It really is. Setting breeze behind, maybe the rip of the day from Andre. Here comes the boo, echoes around. The footwork, really good. One slow step, a couple of quick ones, and then off the body, away from the shoulder, beating the defender for speed and width. Talking of width, that's a super wide play from Chile, beating the blocker again for speed, Marco Grimmel. This time he chooses not to go to the line because Andre is jumping into that line as much as possible, trying to make the block. George Wondley, the target again! <laughs> as two thunderous plays from Brazil. First one from Andre off the body. Second one, that's really dynamic, but George has got his hand, hands in his shirt now because he's missed three serves in this set. That's not really gold medal worthy for. Off the net from Esteban Grimmel. Chance to side out though. Brazil are really siding out with some sort of urgency. It's just a serving and block defense, which is not picking up points. So they still really have a chance in this game because their side out play is so good. Free. Opportunity knocks here for Brazil. Take good eyes over the hands. George Wandley, as much as he struggled with his serving, he has sided out and played offense with real class so far. The Grimolds two in front here, but you already feel like Brazil are coming back strong in this second semi final. This FIVB Beach Volleyball World Tournament. Back set this time. More width, beating the blocker. It's a really good play. You can see why they're playing it. The back set going to the new line to the left side of Chile. Beating Andre again for speed. The ball moves quicker than the feet, so the blocker to make a good line. It's very tough on that back set. From the inside, dig from Esteban Grimald. It's a good one as well. Chance to transition. Spatch. Is there a touch? No. It's 
opportunities like this for the Grimolts that they really need to take, looking for the hands all the time, but to no avail. Brazil back to two here. This time a more standardized up and down play is a good one. For Chile, who really haven't got that culture of beach volleyball like Brazil have, they've done incredibly well to make their third final four of the season. It's been a long time coming for this pairing who've played together for now 11 seasons, the Grimolts. Good blocking from Andre, and it's because of the tight setting from Esteban Grimold. But if you ask him about it, he might say it's because of the pass off the net from Esteban Grimold putting him. Sorry, Marco Grimold putting Esteban Grimold under pressure with that first touch off the net. Marco Grimold from the right side. More back sets. Now this time back to the angle. He's playing smart. He looks straight towards his cousin and says, good set, buddy. Game on. Three-point lead now. Brazil needing to side out, but it's not the side out play that's really costing them. They haven't made many blocks or defenses throughout this second set. It's another side out play back to two, but eventually Something has to give here because this two-point lead, stroke three-point lead, has been around for a while. No one really breaking points. It was a poor start. Remember Brazil going four points down at the beginning of this set. Side out again. Esteban Grimop coming through the center of the court and then knuckling back to the space to the line. Shifting the play inside before knuckling it back to the sideline. Technical timeout. Three-point game again. And for Brazil, the start in this second set has cost them. You can't make as many errors in the opening few points and expect to lead at the technical timeout. For Chile, they've just tried to stay steady. They've run the ball around, they've looked to go off the hands, past the hands at times, and it's working. Andre, slightly stressed out there, although you wouldn't really see it from his body language. Cool, calm, and collective as per normal. Three-point game. Will it be an all-Brazilian final, or will Chile upset the Brazilian apple car here in Espino? What a rip! That one is into the breeze. Esteban Grimo, good toss of the ball, firing through it as well, splitting the gap from Brazil. We go again. This time to the inside of Andre, hitting from center of court. High and long. Chile have come out absolutely barking after the technical. And the three point lead grows to a five point lead, and it looks as if we are going to three already here. Win in the Sydney three star. Win at the Doha four star shows that when the Grimolds make the final four, they usually go on and win. They have it all to do still, though. Serving straight down the center. Back set because his momentum is going that way. Esteban Grimo. Take a bow. Off balance. Goes to the floor, but lets his momentum keep going on that back set. Then with a the hammer down the seam. Four-point game again here as the wind really starts to get 
lift up and conceal the flags. How it's starting to affect the play here, but you would never know by the ball control of these two teams. They're keeping it quite low though, the Grimolts. Good blocking from Andre, there's a touch somewhere on something. Oh, and Esteban Grimolt just sky balls him. He might be punished here. He's frustrated with the decision, but then he's just absolutely teed the ball off almost into the Atlantic Ocean. He's been called for a lift there, off the elbow, and that's why he's throwing his toys out of the pram. Because the referee has suggested there's an upward motion with the palm. He would disagree with that and say it's off the wrist. That's what the decision's for. Referee has the final say. But also, Esteban Grimmel, probably lucky he's not penalized further. Well, he is penalized further with a red card. No sending off in beach volleyball for that, but it's now a three-point lead for Chile. Grimolt and Grimolt, the Chilean tag team, still going at the referee. This is not going to help them in any way, shape or form. That's what the lift was called for. He has his reservations, and then he tees off to the crowd. But you can't be doing that. You can't be arguing with the referee in this game. You will get punished. And because of that, Brazil have been given another point. So all that good work from Chile, they feel that something's gone against them. They've not helped themselves, that's for sure. Brazil will be feeling a little bit more motivated now going into this final stage of the second. It looked as if we were going to third, but... Chile fired up, Marco Grimo just hammers through one. Maybe he's just going to take all of that aggression out on the ball. Who knows? Five will do it for Chile, but you feel they're at the so-called bad end at the moment. Chance for Brazil to try and get another two or three at this time. Allison style from Andre. Wider to the pin, the antenna, and then working back across the face of court. There's not much time left in this second set, but there's a lot of action. Brazil still will fancy their chances, more width. Huge block, but great cover from the Grimolts. The cousins from Chile hanging on in there. There's been a touch on the net on the wrong side of the antenna. It's a game of inches, this one. Just could fly either way. Really could. Strong passing again from the inside. A look at the court. It's a good look at the court. You can see. It's a deliberate look with the head at the bottom of the jump. Players will then be trying to have a look on the way up as well. On two, George Warnley sees an opportunity. But now the opportunity awaits for Chile. It's in wide. Which way does this one go? The line judge says out. The referee, having already upset Chile today, has now called for the second referee, Argensen Scola, to give his opinion on whether there was a net touch. Unbelievable scenes here. Vincent Roger does not want to upset Chile again. Esteban Grimald is saying, hey, Andre, admit your touch. Andre is saying, no, I didn't touch it. The second referee says no as well. We're back to one. Esteban Grimald. Very upset. This is going to be the best angle we've seen so far. Doesn't look like it so closely. We need to see more takes from better angles. No Hawkeye this week. Esteban Grimald, timeout. He is the angry red emoji out there at the moment, Esteban Grimald. He's to calm himself down. Timeout taken from Chile because they've had the four and five point lead throughout this set. Although now, a couple of decisions go the way that 
they really didn't want them to. The first lift on Esteban Grimald, he felt was harsh. And that block touch as well. And for Chile, they would still really only have themselves to blame if they gave away this second set. Been upset by the referee enough to make some errors. It's a great serve! That's more about Brazil doing good things than it is Chile doing bad. And we are tied. What a game. It's turned around very quickly. And we said moments ago there was a lot of action left in this one. Marco Grimaud now signing out to stay in front. No, oh, it's a block from Andre. This one is turning around again. Chile have taken their foot off the gas here in Espino. A couple of decisions they feel go against them. Brazil see the opportunity, take the initiative. Another race. No way, George Wanderley. Just popping the float serve in from the far end. Smart from him. Spin serve into the breeze. Float serve deep on Marco Grimalt. And the Grimalts have lost their heads here in Portugal. Third time lucky for Marco Grimalt. No, there's a dig from there. What a time this is for Brazil. And what an angle. Points his fingers down to the sand and from a winning position. Chile have really put this one in a parcel, wrapped it up and giving it to Brazil as a gift. Marco Grimmel, back set, this time to stay in the game. It's been a horrendous run for Chile. A five point lead at one time in this set. It's been thrown away and Brazil will go through to the final. Andre and George battling through with consistency and great ball control in these conditions. They will play the Brazilian legend, Alisson, and his partner, Alvaro Filo. Brazil versus Brazil for gold. That's what the nail in the coffin for Chile. No one saw this one being done and dusted in two sets at the beginning of set two. A couple of decisions, not dealt with a red card from Chile, cost them dearly. Now they have to play for bronze. Their third final four of the season and the first time they're in the bronze medal match. Excitement here. Electrify. Esteban Grimald still talking to the referee. But he can't blame the referee for every single point out there. It was just one point. The reaction of Chile was what cost them dearly. A red card, giving another point to Brazil, and then another few errors as well. Joy for Andre and George. They took a bronze in Jingjiang earlier on in the year. Now they're playing for gold in Espino. Brazil are getting back to the top of World Volleyball. Three teams in the top five this week. But it's the top five missing. The Norwegians, the Russians, the Dutch, to name a few. Andre jumps back into that line like an absolute monster. Well, we look to go down courtside in just a moment to hear from the Brazilians and how do they feel. But George Wanderley has already won this event in 2017. As we go down to hear from them, now courtside.
Congratulations. How was the match? Uh, the last moment uh, decide this uh, last set. Uh, it was a really tough match. Uh, Chile is a great team. We we played a lot of games against them in the South American tour. So we knew it would be a really tough match, but I'm glad we could manage the win in the end. Um, having uh, one less, uh, one one game less, uh, is was important. Yeah, of course. Uh, the less games you make, uh, you you can be, you are more strong. You you can think better, and especially in Spino, we have such a deep sand and in the sun, so it's it's really good. Makes the difference. And can it make the difference uh, in the final? I, I don't know. We have to play our best. It's a Brazilian team, you know. Uh, we know each other very well. Andre used to play with Alisson. I trained all my life with Alvaro, so we know each other. And it would be a really great game. It would be a special final? Yeah, yeah of course. Portugal is like, is like Brazil for us. We have a lot of support, a lot of fans here. So it's really, really good to be a Brazil against Brazil final. Thank you. Well, there you have it. Brazil will play Brazil for gold here. All players knowing each other very well, obviously. So we have a look at some highlights of a really memorable game here. The game that the Grimmels will remember for having a real big lead and a couple of decisions going against them. Costly for the players who will play against each other, who have played with each other in the past. Some shores and sands that remind them of home. Portugal and Brazil speak the same language and today it's beach volleyball and it's for a gold medal in the FIBB beach volleyball in four star event. Former world champion Andre putting that one right back in the sand, jumping into the line at the last possible second, taking it away from Chile and ending their dreams of gold here in Espino. Well, the stats for this one, two sets to zero, more aces for the Grimolts, more blocks from Brazil as well, and more errors from the Brazilians, but consistency really paying off for them here today at the Beach Volleyball World Tour event, the four-star event. Who will win the final? It's Brazil versus Brazil. Chile will play in the bronze medal match coming up a little bit later on against Latvia. You'll have to join us again. But for myself, Louis Lett, and the broadcast team, it's goodbye for now.